Alright, hope all you swabbies are still awake. Late Night Mega here. And last time we went on a stealthy interlude. I want to smack these wall blasters. Uh, we're in 76th place. The God of Hibiscus. Oh wait, that's the that's the user. That's the name. Okay, Stormy Tell. Generic word, generic word. Oh, look who didn't enjoy this stage. Well, I mean, I guess the final one isn't uh, that great. And music is interesting. I like the atmosphere this is setting between the music and the. Oh, cone heads! That's right, we have cone heads to contend with. Oh, and these guys. Okay, some of these beeps are really obnoxious in this music. I like when it was just sounding like dark and menacing. I pressed jump there. Now it's raining, and we've got the rain that's slightly pushing us back. And the enemy that's trying to kill us. Okay, so everything's kind of been introduced. But so far the stage has been kind of... Oh, we have this. Oh, we're suddenly underwater. Okay. I don't even need that bubble. I got to a checkpoint. I don't accept that. I think that I can't just like go onto a screen and then go back. Okay. There's no wall there for whatever reason. Yeah, we are jumping further. I always like when we're jumping further. But there's so much emptiness to this stage, though. Like, look at this. All this is just, like... Coneheads. Like, there were two enemies in that entire huge stretch. enemies in that entire- or four. We had two cool heads. I missed something there. But whatever. Yeah, we'll take your challenge on. Probably easier to do that anyways. I don't know where I'm supposed to be. Checkpoint reach. Can I go down? No, I cannot. It's like the enemies are just here just to kind of show up every once in a while. I do appreciate... Okay, th that's the room I've appreciated the most so far. Easy. Nice little semi-hidden... I need to get going. There's really not much to this stage. Like, for the amount that's in it, you probably cut down half the... Like, why? And then it's just ending here? And I guess, I guess the ending picture there is like, like... The storm has cleared out, 
is that that's the story that it's trying to tell, but yeah. The stage was just so empty. And everything that was there was just kind of like there. This level genuinely has one of the worst boxes in the contest. I mean, possibly. But yeah, the thing is, they could have added more to it. Like, you're not restricted to just the three enemies that you're given in the box. But they do need to be used in your stage. And the rain in those rising bubbles, like, there was more that could have been done with it. There was a couple neat screens with the rising bubbles. Well, that was, that was it. Despite that, you made a competent level, which impresses me. Getting a box where everything works well together is one thing, but getting a box where a judge dislikes basically every asset and still making a fun level out of it is something to be proud of. Despite that comment, you still managed to only give a 14 out of 25 for the fun score? Okay. Not the most egregious thing we've seen in this game, but we know what is. Okay. Apache Joes are annoying in high numbers, but you limited the number per room so it is so it never becomes unmanageable. That's true. That's not the only thing that was limited as far as enemy counts. Like it would have been nice if there was like some other enemies that they introduced and had those like appearing along with the Apache Joes in those super long stretches where just nothing was going on. Bubbles can get slow and boring, but the rooms were short and relatively quick, so it never felt like there was too much waiting. Watchers can be hella annoying, but they are always used tastefully. Throw into reduction with the slide to the bolts so that you slide through the middle of their shot is really clever. I must have missed that, but okay. The rain can be dumb and frustrating. But it never felt like it produced unfair deaths, other than the jumping into the Apache Joe in the second half. While this level does really impress me, it often feels bare. Yeah, that was my biggest problem with it. There are just a lot of rooms with not just not enough going on. I think an extra enemy, probably one that is ground-based, would have done a lot for the level. It also never really gets challenging at the end. The difficulty curve isn't bad in that it gets progressively harder, but it never gets gripping or really engaging at the end. I think one last set of challenges that were a bit tougher would have brought the level together. Overall, I think there's a lot to respect about this level, but it's not quite there yet. Good job. This is a huge essay. I know I stopped and had some of my own commentary in there as well, but seriously, Parmesan, your essay took me almost as long as the entire level did. This exists. I wish I could say more substantial things, but it's just so inoffensive that nothing really stands out. The music is kind of grating on my ears, but maybe that's just me. All in all, you didn't do anything wrong, but didn't excel in anything either. See, there we go, shortened to the point. I can't believe I'm saying this, but have you considered adding some more Apache Joes? Because wowzers, this level has a heck of a lot of empty space. The space doesn't need necessarily all need to be filled with Apache Joes, but okay. I'm really struck by how devoid of enemies large chunks of this level are. It's also extremely weird that this level uses wave man bubbles and faints as though it were going to be a wave man bubble segments but then lets you jump super high and completely ignore them granted i really hate wave man bubbles and think they're they just lead to boring waiting games but it's seriously weird that the gimmicks in this level contribute so little to the overall level the rain in particular doesn't really add anything because all the outdoor segments play more or less the same I guess there's a, if there's a plus to the level, there is a sense of place to everything. You're in a tower, and it's rainy. I think if the music was less blaring, you'd have a really nice atmosphere going on. 
yeah, that's what I, I would I would say. The atmosphere was probably the best there. You know, the, little bits of the music bothered me, but uh, yeah, it, it almost it almost felt like it was trying to tell a story of like this tower that was getting flooded from this storm, but the whole thing just wasn't quite there. You know, uh, what a surprisingly empty level. So much of this level just felt like walking or jumping with absolutely no challenge whatsoever. Nothing was really used that poorly, it was just so empty. Most of the bubble challenges hardly mattered since we were underwater anyways, and due to how it was set up, you could just bypass most of it. The occasional Apache Joe could be somewhat of a threat, but I sure know the Watchers didn't do much of anything. The level does look pretty nice visually, so it sort of turned more into a sightseeing tour while a level sometimes shows up before you go do some more sightseeing. Yeah. Uh, what well with that? Well, oh, hello there, Shadow Clone. I was told to shadow you. <laughs> Job shadowing. That's what he's doing. All right. Okay, well, that's stuff we'll be dealing with next time, but for now, I'll take my leave. <laughs>